Hi everyone, very warm welcome to video number three in this Zoom Wallet setup series. This video is centered around connecting your Zoom Wallet to Sologenic, where you are going to be able to purchase NFTs and also trade assets on the XRPL. The first video in the series was about us uh, going to the App Store and downloading or installing the uh, Zoom Wallet. We had the um, the different uh, secrets, uh, so that private key with that eight um, lines of six digits that we had to remember. And then the second video was centered around um, sending some XRP from the Stellar ledger across to the XRP ledger. We did that, we got that into the wallet and we had a usable balance of just less than 50 XRP. I have since purchased an NFT in a test environment with this wallet just to make sure everything was absolutely fine. And there was a few glitches on the Solagenic uh, marketplace. So I'm hoping that we don't have the uh, the glitches today. I'm hoping that, um, or, or now, um, I'm hoping that they've cleared off. Uh, there was a few maintenance signs that were popping up. So just try and persevere where we can uh, so that you can see how this all operates. You'll see the... Uh, Zoom wallet um, on the screen as well. So I've overlaid that so it uh, corresponds with what we're doing with Solagenic. First thing we're going to need to do is we're going to come up to the launch DEX um, button here in the top right when we've come to Solagenic.org. When we've done that, we are presented with the trading screen where we've got candlestick charts, we've got order books, we've got the ability to buy and sell, the volume, price, markets, and so on. We're not really interested in this at this moment. If you are interested in learning about Sologenic, head to Boring Crypto, uh, my YouTube channel, and you will find an in-depth video where I talk about all of these kind of things. We're going to head to this instead where we're going to uh, in fact let's just disconnect the wallet and go through from the start so that you can see it all um, lining up perfectly so we're going to come to this button at the top um, we can either click onto it itself or we can just come to the button whichever works whatever you want to do connecting your wallet both leads to the same place and then we're going to come to the zoom app because that's what the tutorials are centered on and then we are going to connect zoom wallet when we've done that, we've got this QR code. Coming across now onto the app itself, we come to the bottom of the screen and the, where the X and the tick is, or the cross and the tick, and we're going to click onto that. Then we're going to click onto the scan QR code at the bottom. And we are then going to move that phone so that it can read the QR code. And we're going to slide to accept and put in our passcode again and close. And that will connect us to Solagenic. So what we've got now is we have now got our Zoom wallet connected into Solagenic. We're working decentralized Web3 environment. We've got the wallet on our mobile device and the Solagenic platform on the desktop. We can see the balance of XRP top right. If you do want to hover over again the top right wallet symbol, click view wallet, you'll see here that we have XRP valuing um, to, to the value of 54.92 um, in our wallet. We've got 12 in reserve. It's going to hold two for each NFT that we have in a trust line, and it's got 10 for the account activation. That's all you really need to know apart from these two tabs here, which is tokens and NFTs. NFT is the one that I bought earlier on for 5 uh, XRP, just like I say, it's a test environment. Um, and that's obviously taking the 5 in terms of cost for the NFT and the 2 here for the uh, trust line. So that's 7. And that's the reason why that the balance that you'll see on the Zoom app is down at just under 43 because we've obviously used seven and we were under 50 with our 10 for our account activation. I hope all of that makes sense to you, right? But you've just got to ensure that you are adding enough XRP into your Zoom wallet so that you can do all of the operations and the trust lines, okay? Not just sending over, say, 51 if you are looking to buy an NFT for 50 because you'll need for a couple for the trust line. So just make sure you've got a little bit extra 
than what you actually need. Right then, so if we've done that, let's move back. We can go about that in a couple of different ways. I'm just going to click onto the NFT tab right at the top here, uh, and that will bring us to the NFT page. Now, because this is all centered around Drift Exchange, we can go and search in the search box for the um, Drifters Maximus. You can see there that if we just click into Drifters Maximus, and we put in the Drifters Maximus, we're not going to come up with any, right? It's going to say no data. The reason for this is because none are for sale at the moment. They're not for sale for a little while yet, another couple of days. So if we click off this, all of a sudden we are going to have the um, NFTs pop up. So we can see the ones that are available and we could probably, you know, maybe get our eyes on one or two that we, uh, we're we interested in at this point where they're not for sale. We click onto this tab here again, or this little switch, and it's going to come to no NFTs. Now, what we can also do is we can come here to Drift Exchange. We click onto Drift Exchange. We can also come down and we can click onto this uh, link that will take us through to Drift Exchange, and you'll see that there are certain collections, and we can look at the collections. That was basically the first kind of trial one where we moved across and this one is live now where we're releasing mean beans and we've got the drifters maximus which is yet to launch so that's the two when you're watching this video the chances are drifters maximus will be live okay will be live and the nfts will be live and the reason why i'm doing this video just a little time before they're launched is so that you know what you are doing so we can go across and we can look at the mean beans and we can look at those collections as I've already shown you. That's absolutely fine. It's easy to do. But what I want to do is I want to come across to all NFTs and I want to click on the ones, making sure that we've got the ones for sale. And I want to filter this from price low to high just to show you how we can actually move through the process of buying an NFT uh, with the wallet. You can see the wallet on your screen as I say. If we come down here, we can choose this funky ostrich yeah this funky ostrich is by lambrini i believe that's how you pronounce it i might be uh pronouncing that slightly wrong but lambrini um has this project where it's about animal conservation so i'm quite sure that we are happy to buy this nft uh for five xrp knowing that this is a non-profit and it's going towards the conservation of animals around the world that humans are having a negative impact on so I'm all for that. Let's go. We're going to click on to buy NFT. Acknowledge that this is an unverified account and that we cannot guarantee any kind of copyright or anything like that. That's absolutely fine. I agree to that. So I'm going to check out now. And then we should get this notification or this, um, this huge transaction come through to our Zoom wallet. Now we want to wait a little while, okay, because it's going to sign the transaction on our Zoom wallet. This would come through on the bottom tab, which says events. We're going to see if we go here um, and we refresh, we can see the sign request. And I click onto the sign request. We're going to slide to accept that. We're going to continue and we're going to once again put in our password. We're going to close that down and now we're going to verify this. It's, this transaction will not be submitted to the ledger. It will be used for authentication purposes. So again, we're going to do the same process. We're going to click through that. Verification is submitted. I'm going to wait for that notification to come through on our Zoom wallet, which has come through there. Look at the top. And once again, I'm going to come to the bottom and I'm going to slide to accept and put in that passcode. When I've closed that, we sign that successfully. We are up and running. Now we're going to sign the transaction on the device. Um, now I've, I've currently found that uh, this seems to want you to do this twice, right? Now I don't know. I'm, I'm not that um, skilled. I'm not that long in the tooth to know the purpose of that. But when, when I've clicked it before and I verify and it comes through, because remember, this is just signing, it's not on the blockchain. Um, it generally works after the second signing. So I'm gonna go through and just do that again and then put in the passcode. And then, fingers crossed, that's us where we've bought the NFT. We're gonna see that this should update, right? The history should update because we have actually bought this NFT now. The button has actually gone out. Um, so by request submitted. And you can see that we can't no longer buy it. The uh, NFT is showing sold. 
we seen the create offer for 5 XRP appear on our Zoom wallet. Yeah, just as you can see here, I'm just refreshing that. And it's the one at the top. And then here we've got the option now of selling or transferring. So we can send this NFT to another XRPL wallet or we can put this back up for sale. So we've just bought it for five and we could put it up for seven. If you wanted to try and, you know, flip NFTs and that sort of thing, then you're, um, you're well within your rights to do that and trade them. But we can see now the ownership has moved and we now own that. If I come to our wallet and we click view wallet and we click onto NFTs, we've now got both of those NFTs. So that's the tutorial pretty much done. Um, you can obviously do a lot of operations from within the wallet itself. You know, if I wanted to click on, we can send the NFTs. So if I close that, but you know, the different, the two different NFTs that we own, if I want to click onto those, I want to send them, I can send them from the, from the wallet, uh, the Zoom wallet on my mobile device. I don't need to be connecting into Sologenic to do that. But if I want to list these, if I want to do anything within Sologenic, I'll need to go through that same process of connecting that I've showed you this evening. I hope all of that has sank in. If not, just re-watch it again. It's very simple. So now you've got each of the individual parts that you need. You've got your mobile device, Zoom wallet. You've got the ability to send XRP from Stellar over to um, the XRPL. Of course, you can send it from a centralized exchange into your Zoom wallet, whatever you want to do. And now you've got the ability to transact with the XRPL using your Zoom wallet to buy an NFT and to store it in your wallet. And that is everything. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe to my channel if you get value out of these videos and I'll be happy to do more videos. As you can see, there's a lot more uh, features that Sologenic offer. And of course, Corium, the new L1, is going to be releasing in the short term as well. And that's built by a lot of the Sologenic team. So we can expect something pretty special with that as well in the future. Uh, if you weren't aware as well, I just have to bring it to your attention. Still for the next four months, you are able to uh, buy Solo, uh, which is Sologenics token. Uh, hold that in your wallet, Zom wallet being one, and then start earning Core or the Coriums uh, asset uh, in a like kickback airdrop fashion every single month. So if you want to find more information, please go and have a look at the uh, the Sologenic uh, documents and you'll find more information there. But that's something that we've been doing for a little while and it's extremely profitable. So in these bear market times, I'm always happy to share that kind of content. Take care. Look forward to joining you in my next videos and I'll speak to you all soon. Cheers. All the best.